sigil to key test is used to test the scale differences uh, if you are given with the two populations the objective of this test is uh, to verify that whether the sample the uh, population variance of the first population uh, if, uh, that whether it is uh, greater than or equal to less than or equal to or if it is identical to that of the other population variance now why this uh, particular objective is required students because further we would have to test that whether there is equality uh, between the two location parameters so before testing the equality of the location parameters we would have to employ the uh, equality between the two scale parameters and that is to be tested using sigil to key test provided that the two particular random samples that are to be compared they do not follow the normality in the data so students i would be taking one particular example and i would be giving you the demonstration that how you can make use of this particular sigil to key test uh, to test the variability uh, between the two samples the problem in hand is a study that was conducted to examine the variation between the two machines uh, that is a and b machines are to be compared um, in terms of their efficiency mean efficiency so in order to test the mean efficiency we first would have to test that whether the scale parameter of machine a is that identical to that of the b so we would have to test at 5% level of significance that machine a has more variation than the machine b as you can observe that it is a, a small sample data where the number of observations under a are more than that of the b so students the first thing under the calculation part is that uh, first of all you would have to combine the two particular samples a and b uh, in a way that the smallest most smallest observation would appear first and the largest observation uh, would appear at the bottom and that that would be considered as the last value under this uh, array of uh, combination of group a and b observations ab students agar aap yahan pe note down kijiye the, the most smallest observation is 35 that is lying under a similarly the largest observation also lie with that of a machine data so once you are done with the combined um uh, uh, values that are being arrayed from smallest to the largest then you would have to assign uh, and you would have to observe basically that whether these be these uh, arrayed observations from smallest to the largest they belong to they actually belong to which group yani unka jo actual group hai just kind of like kar rahi hai wo kya hai and that you would have to note down for example if we just look into 35 observation it is uh, lying under a so iske aage humne likh diya a whereas if you look into the next observation uh, in in the sequence that is 46 aur usko aapne assign kiya b because it was lying under b uh, variable of interest uh, once you are done with the assignment of the actual belongingness or the actual groups to which those observation belongs to then you would have to assign the ranks to Yeah, uh, these uh, observations that were being arranged from smallest to the largest. Now, students, thirty-five uh, is the most smallest observation. So, this company assigned kia rank one. Now, according to the assignment of the ranks under sigil to key test, आपने second जो rank assign करना है, वो assign करना है to the most last observation you have had under this uh, sequence of observations that were being arranged. अब देखिए यहाँ पे largest observation है eighty-three. उसको आपने असाइन किया रैंक टू अब इससे जो स्मॉलेस्ट है यानी जो सेकंड लार्जेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन है उसको आपने असाइन किया रैंक थ्री उससे नेक्स्ट रैंक जो फोर आप असाइन करने जा रहे हैं वो जो मोस्ट स्मॉलेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन है उसके बाद जो स्मॉलेस्ट है यानी सेकंड स्मॉलेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन उसको आप असाइन करेंगे वो रैंक फोर एंड फाइव रैंक इज बिंग असाइन टू द वैल्यू नेक्स्ट टू इट उसके बाद आप दोबारा बॉटम की तरफ आएंगे और सिक्स और सेवन रैंक असाइन करेंगे to the next values and finally you will come at the top and you would assign rank 8 and 9 to the two observations that are lying at the top once you are done with the assignment of the ranks then you will be looking for the procedure to test the hypothesis so under each one if you just look into our um, alternative hypothesis uh, was stated as 
that we would have to check that whether the variation in machine A is more than that of the machine B. Yani sigma square x is greater than sigma square y. Under step 2, we have alpha is 0 0.05. Under step 3, the test statistic is uh, to calculate P, which is the probability of x less than or equal to minimum of u1, u2. So, students, we are employing the Wilcoxon rank sum uh, test to test the sigil to key test for the scales. Under the calculation, they keep uh, jo aapka first uh, jo machine A ka sample hai, usme there are a total of 5 observations, whereas under B uh, variable, we have 4 observations in total. Now, if you go back, so WX was the rank ka sum tha for the machine A. Yani you have added 1 in 9, mein, that gives you 10, and then you add it uh, to the next rank, which was 16, then plus 3, 19, then plus 2, 21. So, you have the sum of rank for A is 21. Similarly, you can calculate the sum of the ranks under B, and it is 24. The next thing is to calculate u1 and u2 and they are to be calculated using the formula I that it is equal to wx which is 21 minus number of observations in the first sample yani ki m they were 5 into m plus 1 divided by 2. So, it uh, gives us uh, a value of 6 under u1. For u2 we have rank sum for the uh, machine b jo ki 24 hai minus 4 which is n total number of observations under machine B into uh, n plus 1 divided by 2. So, the value of u2 is 14. Now, in order to calculate P students, we would have to compare u1 and u2 and we would have to pick up that value which is the minimum most between the two uh, values u1 and u2. Now, here you can see that u1 is taking uh, the smallest observation compared to u2. So, 6 would be assigned to u which is the minimum of u1 and u2. Under step 5, we would have to have the critical region. So, we reject h0 if our calculated u will be greater than w1 minus alpha due to the fact that the greater than sign hai, under alternative hypothesis, we will have to test uh, that whether the variation in machine A is more than that of machine B. So, in order to calculate W1 minus alpha students, we will make use of the critical values table for the Wilcoxon Man Whitney U test. Now, here you have N1 tha, that was 5, and you have N2 tha, wo tha 4. So, against them, we have the value 1. So, 5 into 4 minus W alpha, which is 1. So, W1 minus alpha is equal to 19. Now, this particular value is to be compared with u which is 6. So, as u 6, u kyun ki 6 aa chuka hai, which is a minimum of u 1 and u 2, it is less than 19, jo ki aapka w 1 minus alpha hai. So, h naught will be accepted and it is concluded that the variance of data produced by machine A is less than or equal to that of machine B.